These are the five most common issues with the ADT command panel that we are going to cover in the next few minutes. Number one, panel battery dead missing. Two, a Wi-Fi fault or trouble. Three, AC power failure. Four, check 103 long range radio trouble. And five, an unresponsive keypad or frozen keypad. If your keypad is displaying battery dead miss, this means that the battery does not have enough power to keep the system running in the event of a power outage. These batteries should recharge themselves, being tendered from the keypad power supply. But if they don't, and the battery dead missing message does not, does not clear within 24 hours, you'll need to replace that battery. In order to do that, you'll need to remove the set screw from the bottom of the keypad with a small Phillips head screwdriver. And then we'll need to lift the panel up and off of the base plate. This is going to cause a tamper. Simply touch your keypad and type in your code to stop that noise. At this point, we can look here and see that we have our battery and battery cover. We will need to remove the battery cover in order to take the battery out. So I can simply unscrew this, remove this battery cover, should pop off. Now here I've got my bad lithium ion battery. This would be unplugged from the battery terminals and taken off. You'll need to get a new battery. ADT will send you these if your system is being monitored under your quality service plan, or you can get these online. It might be a little faster. Route that through the battery cable holding area and plug it back into the battery terminals. It goes in one direction, so keep that in mind. You'll need to put your battery cover back on. There's a clip there. That clips in, and then this screw goes back in. Now I can put my keypad back on the wall plate. You'll put that on and notch it down. I'm still showing trouble conditions, so I'll need to disarm my system two times to clear those trouble conditions. Now we're back to ready to arm. I have two green lights and no more trouble. Another common issue that you'll find on the command panel is the Wi-Fi fault trouble condition. Here our keypad displays the Wi-Fi fault symbol. And to troubleshoot this, I would start off by going into the toolbox by hitting that arrow and selecting tools. You'll need to type in the master code again. And now we'll go into the Wi-Fi settings section. And the easiest way is to scan for your network. This system runs on the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Uh, so you'll, you'll want to make sure that your router is putting out 2.4 gigs on Wi-Fi. Here we'll select our network that we'd like to connect the alarm panel to. In this case, it's the HSE test network. And I would enter my Wi-Fi password. Once I've entered my password, select Save, and then hit OK. I like to leave it on this screen to verify that it's successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network. Once you hit OK, back out one step, go into Advanced, and run a communication test. You should get passed under Broadband, signifying that it is connected to the internet and transmitting signal to ADT. After you've completed that, simply back out to your home screen. In this example, 
we have an AC loss displayed on our keypad. Simply put, this means that your security system has lost power. The first place to start would be to check your transformer and make sure that the transformer is securely plugged into the power outlet receptacle. The next thing to look for would be possibly a kicked breaker or a kicked GFCI receptacle. If it continues to say AC loss, you can dig in a little deeper and take a look at a few other things. Here we have our wall transformer for the command panel. And down here we can see that this is a 9 volt, 2.5 amp DC or direct current transformer, which means that we have a positive side and a negative side. You can also see the indicators on the transformer for DC positive and DC negative. Make sure that the wire is securely fastened beneath these two screw terminals to ensure proper power and then plug this into a wall receptacle. The last troubleshooting step would be to inspect the wiring on the security panel itself and in order to do that you will need a small Phillips head screwdriver. On the bottom of the keypad there is a set screw. You'll need to remove this and lift the security panel straight up off of the back bracket. This is going to cause a tamper. So you'll get a tamper of the base cover. You can hit that button and type in your code to make that go quiet. And down here we can see that we've got our positive and negative screw terminals for power. And we want to ensure that this is a tight connection and these screw terminals are securely fastened down. After doing this, I can tuck my wire back in the wall and gently pop the keypad back onto the base bracket and disarm the system twice to clear out the base cover tamper. Don't forget to put your set screw back in. Another issue that can happen on the security panel is a problem communicating with the central station. Many times you'll see this error pop up overnight while the cellular towers in the area are possibly being serviced or upgraded or the security system itself is having a hard time communicating. You'll commonly see the keypad display reporter failure or check 103 com trouble. When you see these messages, the best thing to do is go into your toolbox, go to advanced, and perform a system shutdown. What this is going to do is power your system down for 15 minutes and then repower the system back up. This will also cause the cellular communicator built into the keypad to reach out and attach to the closest cell towers in your area. If that still doesn't fix your problem, you'll possibly need to call ADT or your installation company and have them come out and replace your cellular communicator. Currently there's two options, an AT&T and a Verizon carrier on these cell communicators. So make sure to have the one that works best in your area. After your system has performed a full system shutdown and reboot, you'll need to go back into your toolbox, advanced, and perform a communication test. This will let you know if the system has reconnected to ADT. This next issue is not nearly as common, but still happens every once in a while. And that would be that your keypad is unresponsive or not responding to the touch. The only way to really fix this is to do what we would call a hard power cycle or completely power the system down and power it back up. In order to do that, you'll need to remove the set screw off the bottom. Take the keypad off of the wall plate. Remove the battery first. 
So you'll pull this straight out of the battery connection terminal and then remove one of the power wires. Upon doing this, this will completely power the system down. Give it about 10 or 15 seconds. Put your battery on first and then reconnect your power wire and put it back on the base plate. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next episode. And if you found this helpful, help us out, help the channel by dropping a like and subscribe.